Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. This is your tarot reading for the week ahead whenever you're finding it. If you're watching along as I post because you're subscribed, this is for the week of September 23rd through the 29th, 2024. So this is a really interesting week ahead. We're in the midst of eclipse season. So what that means is that there's a lot of dramatic life situations unfolding, both good and bad, depending on who you are and what's going on. Um, eclipse seasons are just dramatic times in general. I already did your eclipse season reading, so make sure you check that out. Uh, but for now, let's dive into this week ahead. We're going to make this a short general reading. First card out for you is the six of wands. So there is success happening for you. It feels like most areas of your life is successful at this time, Aquarius. I'm getting this message of somebody adoring you, somebody who has all eyes on you and also, there could be some adoring customers, fans, or or something like that. You know, there, there are people who really, really look up to you and to what you're doing, no matter what that may be. You know, people who look up to the way that you work, your ambition, the way that you parent, the way that you hold yourself, your confidence, whatever it may be, there are people who are truly fans, of you and what you're doing. And we are seeing a lot of success coming from that. We have the seven of pentacles coming out in reverse right next to that. See, you might not be feeling this success because you maybe have been working for a very long time, trying to cultivate more success for yourself, getting very minimal results. And I feel like you're at a breaking point now where it's like you're not necessarily giving up on major goals and dreams, but you're starting to admit and acknowledge when you've been putting a lot of effort into trying to make your efforts or trying to make your dreams and goals be accomplished one way that just isn't growing enough for you or happening enough for you. You may be switching it up and changing how you perceive your goals, your dreams, and your wants. And you may be going at it with like a different method or a different way. So that's very fascinating. We have the moon card coming out right next to that. Yeah, try not to get too overwhelmed with like the next 100 steps that you need to take when it comes to your goals, dreams, and wishes. The moon talks about wanting something so badly, but being overwhelmed because you don't necessarily see the path to getting there all the way. However, the moon gives us the wisdom that you always can see the next step that you can take today that'll bring you closer to the reality that you want. That will always be available to you, knowing exactly what you need to do in this present moment to get to where you want to be. You might not be able to see what you need to do tomorrow or the next day or the next day, but right now you know exactly what needs to be done in order to accomplish what you want. And that's all you can do. The moon asks you not to get overwhelmed not to get too frustrated. You know, listen to your intuition as well is another message of the moon card. You may have like a sudden flash insight this week or around this time that's telling you to make a change or that's telling you to make an adjustment in how you pursue things. And it could be quite a leap of faith to trust that intuitive insight. You know, oh, what if it doesn't work? What if, you know, it actually ruins things, you know? But if it is your intuition, if it's coming from your intuition, it'll work out for you. So give it a fair shot. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You can always adjust later on, but give it a fair shot. Second row of cards out, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Mm. Feeling stuck in your own mental prison, like feeling stuck in, in your current circumstances. Some of you may feel stuck um, with this, a certain amount of money that you're making or not making. Uh, some of you may feel stuck when it comes to health issues or stuck when it comes to making the change that you want to see in your life right now, but you aren't stuck. And it feels like this eclipse season and this week, it's trying to get you unstuck. But here's the, here's the kicker. The universe will tell you exactly what you need to do to get unstuck, but it will involve ideas that pop into your head that require that leap of faith, that trust in what the universe is telling you to do you know, that trust, like, oh, this adjustment will be successful. What my intuition is telling me to do, it will be successful, even if it's hard to take action on in the present moment, even if it is not necessarily what you want in the short term. If your intuition is guiding you and saying, hey, this is what you need to do in order to reach this goal, that is absolutely what you need to do. You already have all of the answers you seek. You just need to believe in it. And you know, I've been doing psychic readings for many, many years. 99.9% .9 of the time people come to 
to me for readings. They already know the answer, but they are, they're just looking for that outside validation that their intuition is correct because a lot of us are taught from a young age not to listen to our intuition. We all are gifted psychically and we all have psychic intuitive nudges constantly pop up for us. And it's not that we aren't psychic, it's that we are trained to gaslight ourselves and not listen to that intuitive nudge. And I'm telling you right here, right now, there's an intuitive nudge that is going to take you to massive amounts of success. This nudge is already here. You need to trust it. You need to give it a fair shot and take that leap of faith. We have the Ace of Wands exactly. See, a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. You're going to see a lot of energy flowing your way. A lot of people who are passionate about what you're doing. Just a lot of passion in your life in general. This is looking really good for like love as well. Honeymoon type of energy. Can't keep your hands off of each other type of energy. Uh, or you just may feel like your sensuality is like at an all-time high and like really peaking and... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good energies here. It's very passionate. It's exciting. It is like earth shattering. It is next level. And then we have, oh my gosh, right next to that, the Ace of Cups, Aquarius. Look at these two aces coming out for you this week. So much positivity this week. New love for a lot of you guys, but also a, a creative project may begin. Some form of new fulfilling relationship or project may be really, really taking off right now. And it's exciting. This is energy that's so exciting. It's hard to fall asleep at night. It's hard to stay calm and collected because you're just so passionate about it. Like I said, this could be a relationship. This could be some big new, some new start. It definitely feels like there's a, a new relationship, a new project new energy, news coming in, word of success when it comes to various areas of your life. You're just excited by how life is unfolding this week. I don't know how else to put it. And this is coming in, especially after a long time of, you know, considering giving up entirely. But your intuition tells you to make a change, make an adjustment. You make that change, you make that adjustment, boom, here it is. The abundance that you were looking for. Heart overflowing with love and fiery energies, exciting, passionate energies pouring in. You're starting to get visions of the future. There's so much potential in the air, potential for where this can go. And that's why the moon card is here, because it's like you never know where this project, this new relationship, this new idea is going to take you. It can take you very, very far. Or it can just be a short little trip that is fun and fulfilling and exactly what you need in the present moment. Either way, all you can do now is just explore and trust that intuition and trust that you always know the next step to take. You might not know where this is headed a year, two years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years down the line, but you do know that it feels right in the present moment and you're going to keep doing it. So very beautiful reading, Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there, so check it out. Bye-bye.